Malta. Good morning. Hi, Joe. How are you? Good morning. Not bad, thank you. <laughs> We're trying hard. We're working hard. No problem. Let's get this thing going. I don't think you can see my face, can you? No. I don't see nobody. I don't know face. why. I, I'm, 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 I, have, I just have to make a small adjustment. So if I'll be off for a minute, I'll be back with you in a couple of seconds, okay? Problem. Go ahead. All right, then. We'll talk later. Just a minute. Anything new? Hello, Anybody Mr. Want? Cash. Yes, who's speaking? This is uh, James Chu from Hong Kong. Hi, James. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How are you, Mr. Chu? Good. Very good. <laughs> Did you receive uh, an email I sent to you, somebody who's running the web uh, in China? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I have been in communication with him uh, for many months now. So he's a good, good young man. So I'll be working with uh, him. Yeah, he wanted to do the the translation of the books. And right. I saw him the, I saw him the conditions so you know the, the thing to do. Um, before we start, I have to tell all the people who work with different foundations around the world that within the next um, couple of weeks or very soon, the foundation will make a very fundamental announcement. This, um, this is... Uh, very important. And uh, it will take the foundation out of um, me as a person to world population. So it will be more or less transfer of technology to world foundations around the world in a very specific way. So if anything happens to me, uh, all the all the knowledge will be transferred to you a lot. Wow. Okay. So you will hear from us. It's a very um, uh, effective, progressive way to disperse the knowledge throughout the world, throughout the scientists around the world. Okay, good. Please keep me posted on that. Uh, it will it'll be announced in one go at the same time. Okay. We will not in one go, but I'm just uh, informing you there is a progress. We had to keep very low, as you know, for months with us moving to Italy. Now we are in a position to to move and carry on with our work. Um, there is a possibility, Rick, that uh, we'll discuss it uh, with you, um, that the next workshop will be done in Cash Foundation Lab. Oh, that would be fantastic. That's uh, great news. We, we will invite you in to, to see and um, We'll try to have our guys here early in the morning if they can wake up. <laughs> that uh, that um, that um, we we allow you to monitor the way we work. Great! I'll have my guys available if they can uh, not fall asleep. <laughs> uh, I more people will be watching it in the back. But there's a there's a high chance that we open the doors next time. You'll be our guest. You'll be uh, our guest. Uh, and um, and um, so, so I'm getting a feedback. Getting a feedback. Yeah, we're getting, yeah, we're getting uh, something. I just something I just did, uh, Joe, Joe, and we're getting feedback. Maybe uh, it's okay now. Is that right? Yeah, that's okay. Okay. So we we even most probably if we reach there because we had to shut down the system for about four or five weeks. It's totally. Re modified when you see the reactors and the system you'll see it you you, you see the changes it's a lot of um, um, corrections which had to be done so now we started the testing again and i think it's time for you lot to come in and have a look great well, I, I would like to offer if i can be of some technical help about that you just wait for that. Sky or something. You just wait for the announcement within the coming weeks from the. This okay. is. There is a lot of um, talks on um, different forums and chat rooms and on the internet. 
that uh, we are not doing this, we are not doing that, we don't show the generator, we don't show the power supply. Uh, we put an end to this. And we have to put an end to it because in a way we came on exile from Belgium to Italy. It took us some time to settle down at the same time to sort the system as well. Now we got to the point that we are ready to, to, to carry on with our work as of last year and the year before. So uh, we're coming back much stronger in a better shape. And in so many ways, we showed this with the release of the video of the ILS. We have received a huge, huge response in respect to ILS with the gentleman who's got his life back. And uh, we start releasing technology directly to public from now on this way. Uh, then very soon when we announce things, then you understand more with the direction which the foundation is. Any questions this morning? Well, I guess we are starting. Have we got you going? Ah, so far, so good. I'm trying to put back uh, together my vacuum system. That's all about it. Yes, um, too many well, others. I'm developing what I call universal vacuum system, which um, I think uh, it's it's the right way to do it. The experience will show. Um, it cannot cost more than fifty hundred euros. Anybody can do it. But it gives you a very high vacuum, vacuum condition. Are you talking about a deep, vac a deep vacuum system? No, we create a condition of deep vacuum. Okay. We don't create vacuum. Okay. This is what I go originally all the time. I explain you need to create the conditions. If you look at the universe, uh, there is no vacuum machine. Right. But the structure of the plasmas in the environment gives different vacuum and vacuum condition. So, we are developing that kind of thing. I have a bunch of things on the table. <laughs> trying to create this. In a way, uh, uh, the, the idea behind it is as usual. Uh, a man in Africa can create a vacuum condition than the twenty to $30,000 um, system in Europe. We create the conditions. We create the environment. Uh, you extract or you divert magnetic fields from certain zones, and that creates a condition of near enough less magnetic field of what we call vacuum, or environment of very weak magnetic fields. So um, I think it can be done with a couple of hundred euro maximum. So, and in Africa has a couple of um, things in his hand. He can literally copy it. Once we succeed, I tried this about three, tried to work on it, but I never understood the concept, the reality of it. And now we are much more closer, especially through the ILS test for the, for the patients, uh, for his um, job, that we've seen how it's been progressive. So this has given me an insight of how to produce very, very effective vacuum, or what do you call it, less <laughs> magnetic environment where you can direct this to be in your reactor. You can condition into a reactor and um, I have everything on the table. It's just that um, uh, we have tested it, a small version of it. It seems to be correct. Now we are going into the next step of uh, Mm, what do you call it? Uh, call it uh, uh, mass or large scale um, trial of it. It's very simple. When you think of it, it's absolutely so simple. I don't know why I couldn't see it years ago. It's just I never understood the full concept. Now I understand the concept a little bit better. So um, if you have a couple of old banger cars in the garage or in the on the side road, nobody uses it anymore. 
uh, the idea is you can open it up and we tell you which part and you can make um, uh, magnetic void environments void of strong magnetic fields. So that gives that, you a vacuum. Does that mean then uh, the vacuum is not that important? Uh, Missing of magnetic field is important. That vacuum is a lack of strong magnetic field. This is how I define magnetic uh, vacuum. You define vacuum in environment when there is no matter, there is nowhere in the universe that there is a void of matter. But in environments of vacuum is where there is less of a stronger magnetic field. That's all it is, because the strong magnetic fields are entities, are matters, carbon, hydrogen, or whatever you want to call it. So, um, this, this, there is, um, this is how you redefine vacuum. If you redefine vacuum, the environment where there is less of strong magnetic fields, or packages of magnetic fields, which you like to call it atoms, then uh, it's, it should be easy to produce it or maintain it. But you have to, you have to create an environment outside the zone where you want to work, that allows everything to move in that direction. This is very fundamental in the in the, in, the, in the work of uh, what they call it setting up reactors. Then I think if you have a couple of old bangers in a on the side of the street or somewhere, you got a couple of what is bangers. Pardon? What is bangers? You might know it as the word beater. Oh, uh, oh. It means all cars. <laughs> the cars you okay. don't use. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I didn't get yeah, it. American is beater, I think, is uh, what we we would call a beat up old car kind of thing. Okay. Beat up old car. You so, have access to the starter motor. You have access to um, other components of the of the engine. Uh -huh. It should be easy to create these conditions. Or oh, let us try it. If if I'm correct, um, this is what I keep on going back every time we talk. You do not it's need systems. You need conditions. Right. That little yes. bit hard. That little it's bit me, hard. Joe. Can I ask? Him? Sorry. I think we all want to ask yes, a question at once here, actually, especially me as being a mechanic. My uh, interest is especially piqued with the idea of taking a starter motor and so on and different automotive parts. But I'll for forego on that and allow uh, some other questions here. Who would like to uh, ask a question? Yes, please. It's me, Joe from Malta. Thanks, Joe. Um, yeah, good morning again. Um, look, um, are you talking uh, about uh, it's? Uh, yeah, go ahead. I don't have a trying? video. Uh, uh, yes, I don't know why, Mr. Keshe. I, I will do this that, in, what's in a couple of minutes. Too many people on right now for video to show. So we'd have to have probably two people. We do have a live video happening on Justin TV right now on my channel. And if a couple of folks would like to go there and listen in there, then they could do that. And they could actually uh, use the chat function there too. You have to get down, I think, okay. ten people in order to use the video. Um, okay, I yeah. I could opt out. Uh, this is Zizen. I can I can opt out do that. You're being a hero once again, Zizen. It's like uh, three times in a row you've done the self-sacrifice thing here. But uh, thank you. And, uh, it's okay. Okay. I'll it's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Um, Maybe Zizen, if you have Mr. a Mr. Cash. Uh, this is Lucian. Good morning again. Uh, what I wanted to ask you is basically uh, most of uh, the people in the group have backgrounds in mechanical engineering, electronics, and so uh, basically uh, the concept of magnetic field or gravitational field of an atom, based on what I know was not studied in colleges and universities. So uh, what you are saying to create a, some sort of environment by somehow positioning probably atoms in something like a nanostructure or stuff like that. This is very much connected with chemistry and all this kind of... No, 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 
No, let me explain something to you very simply. You redefine the whole structure of creation and the way we work. When you have, you, if you listen to other lectures I've given and the talks I've given, is that 